month 50 years ago. For many in Paris, Illinois, they remember the day like it was yesterday. A car crash killed two high school cheerleaders and the Paris high school principal. News 10's Lindsay Yates talked to some folks who remember that day decades later. We went down to the sectional at, at uh, Bridgeport. We played Centralia and they were really good. And uh, they beat us, but we played a good game. So everybody's in a, you know, we're disappointed we lost, but everybody's in a good mood. It was the night of March 12th, 1964. A caravan of Paris High School students were returning home from a basketball tournament. We're going north, almost got to Marshall and uh, there's two cars right ahead of us. In one of those cars, the principal, John Allen, and five cheerleaders. They were a pretty vivacious bunch, uh, lots of fun. That night of celebration turned tragic all too quickly. Two cars very suddenly hit their brakes and pulled off the road. So we pulled off, we knew that something wasn't right. The car had been hit head on by a drunk driver. Principal Allen and cheerleaders Paulette Brooks and Mary Margaret Lutz would die from their injuries. And we started taking the people out of the car one at a time. And then assessing her quickly, uh, one young girl was, was already, already dead. Oliver, a hero of sorts, began CPR on those who had survived but were unconscious. It's like you're not there. I mean, you're doing it, but it's just like you're, you know what I mean, you're, just, you're not there because you, you can't face it. It's so awful. The community of Paris High School was left trying to grasp that unexplainable night in which lives were taken all too soon. The time that it happened until school was out, you could walk the halls and almost hear a pin drop. For Anne and Oliver, time does not erase the pain. Goodness, you know. Uh, it, it was a dev it was devastating. This time of years when you think of it. Yeah. Now fifty years has passed and they hope those who are gone are not forgotten. Paris is a small town, it's a it's a tight knit community and yeah, I, I think they'll always be remembered. I really do. Just remember that things like this happen, that live every day to the best you can. In Paris, Illinois, I'm Lindsay Yates, News Ten. The three other cheerleaders in the car that night survived. Many say that's thanks to first responders and people like Oliver Yates.